A Sudanese refugee turned game developer and CEO in Washington, D.C. wants to teach the world of the struggles fellow refugees experience through video games. Before Luol Mayan became CEO of Janoub Games, he and his family fled the Sudan around 25 years prior before settling into a refugee camp in North Uganda. Mayan and his family faced several hardships in the refugee camp, including Mayan witnessing his friend die after falling out of a mango tree as they desperately searched for food. Mayan's life took a turn when he saw a computer for the first time at the camp's registration center in 2007. His mother eventually saved up money to buy Mayan a laptop, which he used to start learning how to develop video games through online tutorials. The first video game he played was Grand Theft Auto. Mayan called it a violent game, but inspired him to make a game of his own. He said, I was like, how about I create a game for peace and conflict resolution? How about I create a game that can help people understand empathy or resolve conflict. He created Salam, which translate to peace in Arabic, where players experience refugees fleeing a war-torn country. They have to find food, water, and shelter, as well as tend to the injured and evade gunfire. Mayan made a version in 2017, and the following year he was named a global gaming citizen at the Game Awards in Los Angeles. The game will receive an official launch in summer 2020, and it will feature a charitable aspect. When players purchase food in the game, they will also be sending food back to the refugees in the North Uganda camp where Mayan grew up. 